Hey guys, Ali here. How are you doing? We're uh, very close now to the uh, harbour area. Welcome back to another episode, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, and I'm going to see if I can perhaps forward the... Um, the dock workers side of this in some way. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to people who we've not talked to in a while, like this guy. Here. Right to work. Okay, nothing right new there. Nothing new there. Some really sad looking people here, that's for sure. I'm gonna go up here and talk to this guy again. Wait, there was mention of him uh, recently in the st in the story. I forget where. Um, Hold on, wandering man. Yeah, Manana. Yeah. How can I help you? Oh yeah, Joyce told us about this guy. I'm actually a worker like you guys. Show him the stolen card. Yes. So this might be our way in. The man looks at the colourful piece of plastic, then at you, then back at the card, then at you again. Okay. Um, but that's not you, officer. <laughs> it's an old picture. From back when you were not a cop, but a heavy set dark skinned dock worker named Santiago John. Um Okay, so I maybe should have paid more attention to the card. <sighs> Doesn't seem plausible now that I think of it. Yes, and you also told me you're a cop. Damn. But now that this is settled, how did you get a shift card? Um, it was like a sign. The wind deposited it before my feet. I feel a closeness to this person. Yes, the city has a way of pairing souls. John's been out drinking himself blind. Poor guy. Poor guy. He should be more careful than Johannes. Can I have the card? Ah. Uh. It will prove useful still. Believe your thieving fingers. Let's see here. It's going to be either two or three. I'm going to go for two, because at least I think I have more authority there. Oh. Is my friend in some sort of trouble? Who knew? I know. Thanks for your time, Manana. Good talking to you, bud. Again. Ah. <sighs> gonna talk to Jean Luc about Joyce. I don't think we can get in there yet. Oh, there's stuff up there. Holy crap. Okay, Jean Luc. Descent has only worsened since I last saw you. Okay. You really let yourself go. Okay, now he doesn't seem like the most switched on guy, so I might be able to show him this card and get away with it. Hmm. I have a few avenues here. Do you know anything? Let's go in with a softball. The mug. Do you know anything about this mug? He does not so much as glance at the object. This your kind of thing? Stop showing me your pathetic cup. I have no interest in it. Okay. Does he strike you as the kind of man who puts mugs into trash? Yes, he does, because everybody puts stuff in trash, and he is one of everybody. Don't be such an asshole to your fellow dock worker. The man looks at you, silent and unmoving. His eyes burrow into the remnants of your soul. Okay. <laughs> you are not God damn it. Santiago. Santiago is not you. Even the frenically impaired can see this. Okay, fair enough. I may have thought he was a little more stupid than he is. Why are you not with the Hardy Boys? I am not the first line of defense. I am the last. 
In addition, these so-called hardy boys are an effeminate clique of bodybuilders. Their company is spiritually degraded. But you're all part of the union. The hardy manlets are on the pay of the company. I answer to the union alone. And I do this out of race heroism. <laughs> Finance is an alien concept to the Simonese. Okay. Now leave me be. I must luxuriate in the company of my woman. And I, I don't want to try and fight him again. I did that before. Oh man, who am I going to talk to here? I can't get past him. Oops. I can't go in here yet, can I? No, because the, the, the door's closed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that didn't work out how I thought it might. That's a shame. I wish, I wish I'd done things in the other order now. Then again, the picture in the past was wrong, so it wouldn't have made any difference at all. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's in here? This door is interactable. Is stuck in oh. the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grot-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. Okay. Let's look in the window. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, mm -hmm. stickers, insignia. Fumes of heavy fuel oil waft over you, making your eyes sting. The odor mixes with cigarette residue. What kind of stickers and insignia? The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and purity are glued to various panels. A large metal pendant hangs from the rear view mirror. The pendant features a sun crown with wavy rays. Hmm, and what about the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Mm. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. The lieutenant nods towards the racist lorry driver. You think this lorry belongs to our tough guy? Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Hmm. There he is, in front of Rita, smoking nervously, hoping it's over. All right, I think we might want to go and have a little consultation with our racist lorry driver. There he is. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? I know you've been giving me the runaround. Fess up, where's the lady driver? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well first you knew Selang didn't do it. He did something. He stole his employer's goods and another lorry man's job. You should be thankful for the tip. He grins with a wide smile. Then why are you smirking? Listen up, fuckwits. You don't scare me. Screw you. You cops don't run Evachel West. You don't run Martinez. You don't run anything. So who does? You? No. He means la puta madre. <laughs> yeah, him. Who's la puta? And I presume you are familiar with his peonies. Yeah. They're his little bitches. He's got them all over the unions. Hmm. Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Some say he even has them in the RCM. Dirty fucking peonies who do anything for him. Multi-ethnic drug addicts. Wait, are we? You're not peonies. 
You wouldn't be investigating a drug thing if you were. Then... Okay, I'm glad we cleared that up, as if it wasn't needing to be cleared up in the first place. No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were, and one of Madre's drivers were to be stealing from him, then it's a good peonies job to find out who that is. Huh, that's a... Oh, he turned it around. Kim, you are on the ball. It's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make Padre Madre angry. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, protecting this fucking thief. I'm not scared of you or the mob. I'm under the protection of the Loriman and Carter's guild. Oh dear. You've seen that corpse in the ceramic armor there. Did his shitty little guild protect him? Nah, you wouldn't just leave him out there if you... He tries to light a fresh cigarette, but his hands are shaking now. The sentence simply ends. My god, Kim! Kim came in there like an absolute hawk. That was great. The lieutenant turns and gives you a barely perceptible nod. I can continue now. Be careful. This man still got some fight in him by the looks of it. It won't be easy to break him. <sighs> I'm going for it. The main no. thing is to not overdo it. Even when you're trying to scare someone, the most important thing is how does it look on your resume? The jig's up. I've got the goods on you. Oh, yeah? And what goods are those? Uh, your racism? What is there to talk about? It's a racist Damn. world. I didn't make it that way. I'm just living in it. Surviving in it. That's all this is. Survival. Yeah, you can tell yourself that if you like. We'll just have to ask someone else about the lady driver. Let's go. Damn, I screwed the perch there. Kim did so well and I came in and just took a dump on it. We're done for now. Who else are we going to talk to though? I'm going to see if there's if there are any other uh, lorry drivers around this place that I can actually interact with. Like he doesn't have any new options, so right to work. Shame on you. Have fun. Oh. You new options. Full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. I'm interviewing people about a murder that took place behind the hostile cafeteria there. I know nothing about a murder. His reply is snappy and terse. Absolutely nothing? Wouldn't put it past these harbor bugs. They'd do anything to stay alive. Okay. Right to work! It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. I don't know. We are not picking a side in this just yet, sir. Pity. Let us work! Hmm. I need you to be my champion against Jean-Luc up there. No. I'm not a fighter. I'm a worker. Okay. Where exactly are you from? What's it to you? A routine, part of the investigation. Am I a suspect? Done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of people. Makes sense, I guess. Never mind. Not gonna pry. The man has turned his attention elsewhere. He shakes his fist slowly while observing you from the corner of his eye. I want to get into the harbor too. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. All right, already. Right to yeah. work. This really isn't my area of expertise. Okay. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna go looking for some more trucks uh, that I can maybe investigate a little further, see if there's any drugs in them. Oh, there's uh, there's some stuff here. I will take all that cash. Thank you very much. I remember talking to this person before, but I don't remember the outcome. The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph. 
photograph in her hands in the background. The Sna radio plays. Snap your fingers in front of her face. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. Snap your fingers twice. Where am I? Who are you? Is she the lady driver? Was she here this whole time? I was actually hoping you could tell me that. Uh, never mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. She adds with contempt. Wait, what's so bad about the 50s? The men have the small jewels and everything is made out of plastic. Why do you need plastic when you can make the world out of amber? Hmm. Where else would you be then? Back in Mezca, during the time of the revolution. The side walls and cafes are filled with the young people. I was on my way to see a new Boyadero picture starring Gabriel Buenguerro. Oh, that sounds riveting. Until you came along, that is. The look she gives you is accusatory. Who's Gabriel, that guy? This is Gabriel Buenguerro. I will take a look. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned with a wide brim hat. His hair is dark as an oil slick, and his jaw, the most perfectly chiseled thing you've ever seen. Okay. He was the biggest star of his day. Girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen, and schoolboys used to memorize all of his lines. She leans back, savoring the world she's conjured up. So I take it you were in Mesk when you were young? Someone was. She nods as though her meanings were perfectly clear. Someone, are these not your memories? They are someone's memories, boy. What difference does it make if it's me or not? They're beautiful. That is all that matters. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They're coming for this, you know? All of this. All of what? The world? The hmm. Sorry to interrupt your dreaming, ma'am. I wasn't dreaming. I was there, Loman. It was early spring, and the man behind the black sun had just come out. The posters were 20 meters tall. Everything was golden. Her eyes narrow, and she appears to be to take your measure. While you, people, were tearing each other apart over your petty little revolution, in meth, it was a golden age. Mm, right, I have some other questions for you. Police questions. Why so not, Harife? It's not like I have anything better to do in this hellhole. Mm. She settles back against the railing on her motor lorry. Behind her, mountains of memorabilia, photos and knickknacks line the dashboard. What are you hauling? Diamonds. Diamonds, really? Of course not. But wouldn't it be marvelous if I was? Okay, but what are you really hauling? Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. So you don't know what you're hauling in your own lorry? I quit concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo, if you know what I mean. I have no idea. She says that as if something narcotic is the real reason. Hmm, what if the cargo is contraband? Then it's contraband, Loman. What? Do you want to take an old woman in? Be my guest. Lock me away like Bad Hand Hermenegildo. Bad Hand? Hermenegildos is Bad Hand. Strangled 300 people. Mm. What can I say? Some people just really like strangling people. Uh. All right, are you the lady driver? Did you just call me a lady, Harry Well, you aren't a lady. The woman's malevolent cackling fills the roundabout. I'm a lady that you are Gabriel Buenguerro, only in dreams. Wait, what? 
So you're not the driver everyone's terrified of. I'm only terrifying to small children and to those who used to know me. Why are you scary to the people who used to know you? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. Then who is the female driver I was told of? How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time with the other camioners sniffing around? When I have my movies to go to. That's all I needed to know, thanks. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get a refill for my uh, morale here. Yes, go. We'll come back to her. Hello, lovely lady. Let's get some drugs. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Okay, I'm gonna get three of the. Uh, it's so weird. I. Uh, yeah, it costs more. I'm gonna okay, have to. Okay, here. I hope to... Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, here. I hope. Okay, here. I okay. hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, sweet. So at least now I have some morale. Thank you, uh, lady. Oh, what's this? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. Oh, croissants. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. All right. The packages are small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. Some more endurance there? Hmm, that wouldn't go amiss. What's that? What is what? The girl leans. Um, oh, whoops. It's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Real. The raincoats. Sorry, she taps on the glass counter. The rain. The raincoats patiently await purchase. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. Oh damn! I, that was an option. Okay. Four. Here you go. Yep. I think that was a good investment right there. I'm going to wear it right now. Oh wait, endurance and this gives me... I don't know what that means. Connect to Station 41, understand cop culture. Okay, I'm going to keep the raincoat for if I need more endurance sometime. But yeah, I think that that will come in handy. I might actually sell off a couple of my other, my other trousers. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'll do that at some point, but not now. But now I have the morale that I wanted, I'm going to go back to that old lady. And talk to her about drugs. Get some drugs. There she is. Sitting there with memories that are not her own. You caught me at an opportune moment. This awful weather keeps me away. You can entertain me with your questions. I still don't really understand the whole foreign word thing. Of course not. To truly understand the Boyadero, you need to listen to On the Western Plain. Hmm, okay, what's that? It's an old ballad about a young girl who falls in love with a daring boy at Eiru. He promises to marry her as soon as he returns from the Western Plain. And they live happily ever after? Don't be stupid. The boy at Eiru returns from the Western Plain a changed man one night. As he and his beloved are out walking along the river, Margaret, she pleads with him to give up his riding and settle down. So he gives up writing and settles down, right? No. Oh. The boy at the arrow strangles his beloved and throws her body in the middle. Holy mid. balls. Then he rides off because the western plain is calling to him. A beautiful song. The most beautiful. A true boy at the arrow needs a whole horizon to himself. He 
He can be tied down by man or woman. His beloved was selfish. She didn't know what it meant to love a boy a day. Okay, so before I came, you seemed away. She's just a distracted old woman. We should maybe let her get back to her things. Mm. So he doesn't think she's the lady driver. We were about to find out, though. You hear that, old man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Wait, why is that, Lieutenant? Nothing. I just don't think she's connected to anything. Oh, well. He doesn't want your frail mind caught up in something here. Should you? Something unconnected to the case. But connected to this woman tuning out like that. Should you drive a lorry if you get like that? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm one of the best camioners around. I drive routes no one else will. What routes? The Monosov's Land, Udajnaya Zemlya, the Western Plain. She nods and closes her eyes again, letting her mind submerge. The Transcatholia Magistral. You for one A. Are the Stradas do Mirado. All the good ones. The deep trenches. Where the bluebirds fly. She opens her eyes again and shudders. Hmm. I'm something of an expert in blacking out. You should take better care of yourself. You're right, Loman. I'm the one who should take my health more seriously. Thank you for looking out for me. I get the sarcasm there. I was just trying to help. A correct appraisal. You're quite shabby. <laughs> Is that all you woke me up to say? You seem like a woman who knows a thing or two about drugs. What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no drugs can compare. That's not really what I was getting at. Then what were you getting at? What is it that you're hauling exactly? You're my low man. What of it? Okay, let me put this another way. Are you smuggling drugs to Terminal B? Maybe. Probably not. Makes no difference to me either way. Um. How can you not know what you're hauling in your own lorry? Just this month, I made half of those on trips from Saramiris to Grad. The U for one A. What do you think they take from Saramiris to Grad, Loman? Drugs? No, Loman. Diamonds. I didn't ask about diamonds, did I? I don't care about that. Uh. Hmm. If you had to guess, who do you think is smuggling drugs around here? Easy. He's the skinny man who thinks he's a boy. Yeah. He's just a boy. Also, he's the only one I can see from here. Oh, well, I guess if it's only the person that you know exists in the world, and you're not doing the thing that's being accused, then of course it's the other guy, right? That's correct. There is no visibility of any of the others. Hmm. I didn't ask about the diamonds. I don't care about that. Diamonds are good for you, Loman. You should try them sometime. Make yourself pretty like Eva de Zoras. Okay, if you're not involved with the job traffic, then why are you still waiting here? Where do you want me to go? This isn't so bad. I can listen to music or the seagulls. Look at all the colors and the futures of this world. It's a good palette cleanser, this jamboree. Or I can just relax and let my mind carry me back where it will, to the Great Plains. I think we're done here, no? Thank you for now. Ah. So she's pointing to the poet guy. All right. I can't really go any further to the left here, so... I can't get up there, can I? Can I get up there from here? Are you kidding? Wow, okay. I did not know that was possible because this was in the way. How about that? 
Okay, let's talk to the poet again. I feel like I'm just getting the run around here in this investigation. Hmm. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? Okay. I heard that one of the drivers is a woman, but I don't think she's here. Do you know this lady driver? I don't want to talk about that. He shifts around, suddenly uncomfortable, then looks away. Ah. Uh, why? Do you know something? What is it? Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. All I can say is, she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. Who is this person? What's her name? Thank God I don't know. People here call her the Lady Driver. She kept her name a secret. From me too. Now I see why. And who is she to you? A friend? An acquaintance. I don't know. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk to. She's someone I don't want to rat out to the law, okay? What does she look like? A youngish woman. Gruff, but in a cool way. Gruff. Okay, I don't know what that means as an a as a as an adjective. So good old duck duck go is gonna help me out here. Give me a second. Definition. Gruff. Rough, brusque, stern in manner, speech, or aspect. Harsh, hoarse, a gruff voice. Dealing with people in a way that lacks patience and seems unfriendly. Huh. I think I could be described as that sometimes. Interesting. Okay. All right, is there anybody who we have talked to who is like that? A woman. I don't think so. What could our hair? Blue and violet. Died. It was violet when she got here. Blue before she went. Hmm. Then she may have dyed it again. I asked you who's conducting the drug trade. You said you didn't know. Now you're saying you do. I didn't, man. I told you I was hoping it's not her. That she wouldn't be mixed up in it. Okay. When did she leave? Damn, I don't want to... Please just let it go. Whatever she did, it can't be that bad. She's not a bad person. I know that much. I think she's tied to a murder. So... We can't just let it go. It's part of a police investigation. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? All part of the investigation. The girl's troubled. If you hunt her down, she may not survive it. I can't have that on my conscience. Huh. It won't come to that. We won't pursue her on this. This is information only. I don't believe you. Believe us, it really is. I just can't, man. I'm not naive. Okay, then we will press on. You said she's troubled. How? She's got the darkness in her. Oh, yeah. That young person's darkness when you think it's all over. And you're looking for a way out. Hmm. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. Let's see. I was told everyone's afraid of her. You're not. I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. And she told me too. That she's had a violent life. But I wasn't afraid of her. More like for her. Okay. Did this violent life include drug trafficking? Well... It looks like it did now, but we didn't talk about that. We talked about life, you know? She talked about her mind. Hold on, her mind? The way it worked. The trouble it was giving her. Hmm. When she left, did she leave her lorry behind? Fuck, man. Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? There are plenty of drivers here who couldn't stand her, or were afraid of her. 
They'd be more than happy to rat her out. Okay, racist lorry driver, you're up. He's right. There are other options. The race man, for one. The race man? The, the race man? Push Tommy and it will break his heart. Okay. And his spirit. Don't expect you to be pals. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. You need that info, son. It's right here. The answer is oh. right here. You just need to ask him. Come on, do it. I'm not going to force him. Especially if there's another avenue. And I'm assuming he's not going anywhere. So if, I, if that other avenue doesn't check out, I can come back to him. Fine, I'll drop the matter for now. Thank you, friend. Wow, this makes me feel like I should pick up smoking again. <laughs> Would help with my rhymes, too. You're standing there smoking a cigarette in front of me right now. That's all for now. But I will be back. I really like that guy. And he's in that impossible position, you know? One of those sort of life conundrums where inaction can also be a problem. Looking for something odd? Alright. me to fuck off again? Oh, wait. Wait, who's race, man? Uh, it's about biological... Yeah, 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 the yeah. most popular topic nowadays with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Oh, so you're just a racist. That makes sense. I'm not just racist. <laughs> Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that uh, you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Uh, right, I've already made up my mind. You want to hear it? Uh oh. Uh, I'd rather talk about something else. Go right ahead. You. You tell not a lot yeah, of more so... on this one yet. He thinks <laughs> wriggled out of it. Okay, so he, um, he doesn't seem to be able to help me at all here. Race man. Who the hell is race man? Okay, I'm going to talk to these two guys and see if they can fill in any gaps that I appear to be having right now. The purity of snow always reminds me of the purity of a man's soul. If... No, nope, nothing new there. Officer. Oh. The mere sight of police in Martinez makes me feel safer already. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the union again. Sure, officer. Ah. No. Nothing new there. Okay. Who am I? Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Can I talk to this guy? Hard times. Yeah. Hard times for us all. Oh! I can talk to the book reader now. 
Ah. Working class women. You see a sturdy woman humming to herself. She seems to be browsing books. Perception. The ship takes off like a silvery mosquito, unfolding its rotor blade arms. She mumbles, reading. Then, oops, then puts down the soft cover. A good one? Yes, hello. She nods, her attention fully focused on reading. Who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. Okay. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. Well. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for something to read. She reverts her attention to a worn out paperback. Good, good. It is. I'm a policeman. I know you are. You do? Everyone can see that. The rectangles. <laughs> good, then. Do you need help of a policeman? What with? She tries hard to focus on the book stand. What with? A lot of things. For example, people tend to go missing. Hmm. Well, maybe your husband is missing. My husband? No, he's not. So where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Okay. Where is this going, officer? You don't really know where your husband is. Yes, but... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to know? No. I can totally help you find your missing husband. Why are we still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. It's got to be something else then. Hmm. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't? Maybe your children are missing? No, absolutely not. Her words come out quick as gunshots. Okay, so where are they? Are you a policeman or a nanny? She's definitely disturbed by you now. I police whatever I want. Where are they? <laughs> I can say I'm a nanny. <laughs> no. They are not missing, sir. You know where they are. They're at home. Smoking. Giving the ladder of vices a chance. Hmm. Okay, great. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. I see. Thanks. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir. <laughs> you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. Oh, no, no. For what it's worth, I agree. Oh, but come cockatoos on. can't be stopped when they get like this. It's better to indulge him at this point. I was asking about your cockatoo. Is it missing? I don't even have a cockatoo. What? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. All right, cockatoo not missing. I just wanted to make sure. Great. She turns her attention back to the book stand. Boy, what did you mean by me being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. Hmm. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Huh? Or your heraldic bird? Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thanks for the tip. It's wonderful. The store is open. Watch her browse books. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. It Ooh. seems like she has spent a lot of time at work, smoking. Mm. Okay. An array of neurons fire up with joy. Bum her a cigarette, lest it turn to pain. Do you smoke? No, I don't. I know for a fact that you smoke. Why do you think that I smoke? Um, I suspect I may possess supernatural abilities. Your hands look like they belong to a heavy smoker. It's not like yours look much better. She says while eyeing yours. Hmm. Take a look at your hands. She is right. Your hands look even worse than hers. With tiny cuts and gushes covering your skin like a spider web, your fingertips have become an ugly shade of brown. Just give me a cigarette, please. I already told you, I don't have any. Go bother someone else. Okay, thanks, no problem. She sighs. That's all for the moment, I'll let you read. The woman before you nods and returns to her reading. 
Okay. All right. I appear to be hitting a bit of a brick wall in our investigation here. Um. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. But yeah, the water lock on Wednesday. That's going to be opening up that quest, that's for sure. Um, so many quests. Still need to sing karaoke. That's a must do. We have to do that one. But for now, I think I'll end this episode here. And uh, I'll have a good think about it uh, over the course of tonight. And see if I can get some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, obviously you can hit that button. If you are wanting to keep up to date with uh, the rest of this game as well as anything else that I play in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, if you have anything that you'd like to express, any thoughts or feelings, make sure to use the comment section down below. For now though, I'm going to head off, but I hope you take care and I will see you in the next video.